it does show after like after a bit um improviser so what are we actually going to be doing um do i get lightning spire no lightning spire okay Rainstorm. Creates a rainstorm. Units caught within are soaked, lowering their ice and lightning resistances. Their clouds can be transformed into blizzards by ice damage. Uh, damage? Or thunder clouds by lightning damage. Okay, uh, there's also acid rain. Nine poison. Uh, that's a heal for seven. I wonder if that includes you. Each turn, summon a water elemental from rain cloud you control. Nice style for the water elemental. I got some pretty okay spells for summons. I wonder if I will get the skills to support that. Probably not. Prince of Ruin. Venom Spit. Whenever an ally loses a shield, deal 3 physical and 3 arcane and apply silence for 2 turns to up to 2 enemies, up to 5 tiles away and in line of sight. It's 5 tiles away from what? From me? From the ally? Who knows? We have Serpents of Chaos and we have Knights. I feel like we can just do some Serpents of Chaos Knights things, win the game with that. Um, we also have healing light, so I don't even have to worry about the Knights dying. We have Annihilate Chaos Barrage and Serpents of Chaos. And chaos casting, we can do some chaos stuff. Um, but I think that I am going to do knights. We have flame burst as well. We can just get flame burst holy to kill everything. And since the objective is to win, not to showcase uh, variety, I think that uh, doing that is a good idea. Breath Stealer applies silenced for three turns. I'm going to need this. Ah, this is not updated. Delightful. Um, I take it silence means that I cannot cast spells. I wonder if these uh, if this replace the black cats. Hopefully not, because I think I like the black cats a bit more than this. And not only because they were one shotable by Farbal. Um I'm thinking of doing the following drop here, teleport here, flame burst. And that beats the level kind of. And it is a pretty strong thing to do. Um and it will get me to the knights. Yeah, sure. Let me see what these are. Um, snow shoes. Did they already exist? They look pretty okay.
if you're wondering about why um, the teleport was necessary or why flame burst, well, flame burst being ideal for a level like this is just obvious. It's not surrounded by enemies. Um, the teleporter was necessary because I wouldn't have survived walking all the way over there. The level also had a teleporter, uh, and I needed four experience for the flame burst. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good thing to do. It uh, enables me to do a level like this, actually. Like, this level is great. Just, like, drop here, flame burst, kills everything. Then wait for them to get over here. Do the same thing again. Um, level even has some good consumables in the form of... Um, the form of bag of spikes. Do I have Gotia? Oh, yeah. I really want um, to be able to get spells that I don't have in my list from from scrolls. Like, come on, it's so obvious. Why is that not a thing that already can happen? Uh, but anyway, that is interesting because we have natural healing and natural healing plus Gotia makes it so that like I can have infinite Gotia. Uh, that is super boring, however, and I'm probably not gonna do that. Sorcery wand. Oh wow, it's um, kinda useful, it's not great. And yeah, it's looking like these replace the black cats. That's a shame, because black cats were cool. Um, or at least, that's what it seems to me. Let's see. Let's see what the bestiary says. If I don't have them in the, my bestiary, then we can confirm they have been replaced. Um, oh no, here we have the cursed cats. Okay, and in that case, what are the other cats? Are they all the way over here or something? Electric Bone Shambler. Why is this thing a monster instead of... Could it be that Bone Shamblers are no longer eligible but for modifiers, but they get... Like, the modifiers? Uh, Hard-coded? If so, that's cool. I like that. What is this? New, um, new 5x5, five five? hopefully. Um, oh no, I guess that in this computer I have not beaten Pop the Frog. I guess that I have not fought Pop the Frog. I better fight Pop the Frog while the, um, while the poison um, exploit is still in the game. Because I don't really care about fighting Pop the Frog otherwise. It's not a particularly fun fight. I have no idea what it is. And yeah, this this definitely, uh, like many things in Reef Wizard, uh, this needs a box where I can type in whatever I want to see. In this case, I want to see the non, uh, the white uh, cat, um, but whatever. Oh, I have not, I have not killed any white cats, right? Mm, what does this do? All allied units heal for 1 HP per 100 damage dealt to enemies by allied units. Now, you know what, I should go to this, this level. This level is the correct level to go to. Um, flame burst. Goodbye everything. There we go. Flame Burst is just too good. If you get Flame Burst in your limited spellbook, consider very seriously grabbing it because, well, um, you can see how um, how it's working for me. It's very early, but ever since I got it, like every level that I've had it, it's trivialized the level. Um, it's kind of like, um, like Lightning Spire, but it's a bit different. Mm. Where do we go? Where, like, if we go here, where do we drop is what I'm thinking. Do I see this right? Only two gates? That is interesting. Um, Jar of Embers, obviously interesting. I don't think that uh, the Chaos Knights are fire. I think that they're chaos. 
and living, so um, yellow embers could produce fiery chaos knights. That would be good. A bramble thorn is also nice, but yellow embers is a top tier item. Like actually strong enough that if you get it, you might as well just win. It is pretty crazy. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a spot where I can land. Like once again, I would like to be able to select a spell and hover and see the targeter. Uh, but I guess those are needs for for sorcerer mages that big um, summons don't care about. <laughs> Oh, there was another gate. Uh, well, it's fine. Not a big issue. There we go. Flamebirds just doing Flamebirds things. Um, it is crazy powerful. Crazy, crazy powerful. To the point where I wonder why it even is only level 4. <laughs> uh, next level we will be able to get the, the knights. If we survive it, that is. Um... I could do a similar thing to what I did before, like drop here, teleport here, or like it's close enough and it's not so dense on enemies that I could actually walk this time. Uh, and that sounds like a pretty okay idea. The golem takes two flame bursts. Yeah, it takes two flame bursts. Or a flame burst and a fireball. That also gets the job done. So I'm probably going to be dropping here, walking a bit, flame burst fireball. Um, getting knights, summoning the knights, and then having the knights kill the dragon mage. It's gonna take a while, but the knights do beat the dragon mage, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And if they don't, I am going to be kind of host. So maybe I use the ether dagger there. Um, yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I definitely don't like that. Not with a fire wizard. Uh, and here we have... Uh... Hmm... Two charges for um, for the knights. I don't think it's that good of an idea. I think that the best level to go to is indeed this one. All right. It's pretty funny because sometimes people on YouTube comment and they're like, why are you so allergic to re-rolling? And I'm like, well, uh, re-rolling is a thing that can produce a level that you cannot do. Um, in fact, that, that has happened to me a couple of times. And um, and I try to, you know, not re-roll if I uh, have levels that I can do. Mm. Do I even need to use the other dagger for this for this dragon? Um, I feel like if I use, do you have like a jump away thing, right? Yeah, it instantly moves to the target tile. I suspect that the knights. Uh, oh yeah, and it's not even gonna be chaos knights uh, out of the box. It's gonna be the other knights. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I might use the knights, but I'm gonna summon spike balls first. Um, we get some nice modified spike balls. Pretty good. Gonna go with them over here. That one is immune to fire, so I can fireball it and things will be fine. Um, let's try the knights now. Okay, we got Burning Storm Knight and a Burning Void Knight and a Chaos Knight, which is absolutely delightful. Um, uh, them being burning will uh, definitely make them um, survive a bit more, because normally they are uh, pretty suicidal. Um, okay, let's summon some more knights, because uh, it has two charges for a reason, you know? Another burning storm knight. Uh, is that another burning void knight? Did I get two burning void knights? I did. Wow, two burning storm knights and two burning void knights. Uh, oh, look at that, the Chaos Knight is Fire Lightning Living. That's boring. Um, one in three chance, and it's happened uh, four out of four times, that's crazy. There we go, now they will take care of the level for me. I don't even have to worry about them dying. 
there we go. And I retained the valuable consumable, which is the Ether Dagger. That thing doesn't get any weaker as levels go on, unlike the Spike Balls. Um, See what we get here. Frost Spew, Hellhound, Ghostly Vampire, Gnome Leech. Uh, all three of them are bad in their own special ways. I'm gonna get the Hellhound. Um, but he's gonna freeze my dudes and that's gonna be annoying. This costs four. Only costs four to summon only Void Knights, Storm Knights, or Chaos Knights. And a champion, of course. Um, I have to say, like, Chaos Kurt is my favorite by a mile. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying it's the only one that, that is viable, but it is the only one that has ever worked for me. So it's the one that I go to for, for whenever I am trying to, to win a run. <sighs> well, from these levels, this is the one that looks the most doable, but it still doesn't look very doable because it's full of monsters that are immune to fire. Maybe I just... Um, maybe I just go for the other dagger here. Fire Bomber, Fire Bomber, Fire Bomber. Okay, fortunately the Fire Bombers themselves are not immune to fire, so we can indeed use another Dagger to neutralize the slimes and then just um, flame burst them. Mm. Yeah, okay. This. Uh, I could reroll here, but like, I don't want to reroll. Uh, I'm not a fan of rerolling, as I've already said, so we are just gonna drop here and as a dagger. Okay. This guy's immune to fire, which is nice. Makes it so that I can actually uh, flame burst without fearing that I'm gonna kill that guy. Um, something that I cannot do yet for my, uh, for my knights. Ideally, I will be able to do that at some point. I have to say that um, when it comes to the early game, I like Reef Wizard 1 more than 2. Um, when it comes to the late game, apart from modified enemies, I like 2 more than 1 when it comes to the late game. Um, yeah, I just don't like modified enemies. I think that I've had the game, I've played enough time. Um, let's see. Steam says that at this very moment, I have played uh, 181 hours of Reef Wizard 2. And, um, and I feel like I can very confidently say that I don't like the modified system for, for monsters. Between fighting a high-level monster like a mage, um, and a bunch of modified monsters, I would rather fight a mage every time, dude. Um, because modified monsters are pretty annoying. The only exceptions are when the modified monster happens to be actual fodder, like uh, modified bombers. If it's modified bombers and the bombers don't get a shield, then I'm okay with that, because it's it's like you don't get a you don't get to do a level without um without an enemy. But like ghost liches are absolutely terrible. Um, I would like to believe that I can drop here and flame burst and just immediately kill them all. Um, I might I might be able to do that. Let's see my other options. We got a clay satyr, which uh, has a lot of fire resistance and regens, very annoying, and heals. Very, very, very annoying. We do not like that. Um, it's killable, but it is annoying, as I already said. And this is a level that is reminiscent of a Reef Wizard 1 level. Uh, though, um, a uh, thing that I have to say when it comes to Reef Wizard 2 compared to 1 is like, you know, like the map difference is so obvious. If you have only been playing 2 since it released, go back, play 1 for like 1 or 2 runs and you will immediately notice how much less hostile the um, map generation is in that game compared to... Or in this game compared to that one. Um, yeah, and 1, the maps are terrible. Hello, Star Polemic. Thank you for stopping by. Are you still um, globe trotting, or are you back home? Um, because you went to a, a couple of different places, didn't you? Or did you only go to one place? Um, anyway, I don't want to do that. That's terrible. I'm gonna try to do this and hope that they don't just summon jars. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. No modified monsters here.
beautiful. The worst thing about this level is this uh, spawner existing. I think that what I can do is uh, kill this spawner and then maybe teleport down here. Or I could um, I could summon some knights. I could also modify the knights so that I um, don't have to worry about the knights dying. Okay, the knights will take care of everything. They're, they're way, way stronger than anything that we could see here. Yep. You moved permanently for work. That's uh, pretty crazy. Good stuff. So where are you now? Uh, out of curiosity, if you don't mind saying. If you do mind saying, then that's okay and completely understandable. I remember you used to be in Canada. It's crazy that... Um, I, I take it you finished your like education and stuff, and you immediately moved uh, for a word. That's that's pretty cool. Other side of Canada. Oh, I see. Other side of Canada. So still Canada. I was expecting something a little bit more exotic, like Thailand or something, for some reason. I don't know why I had that. Uh, feeling that you were gonna say something Southeast Asia, but other side of Canada is also nice, at least you're not too far away from home. Um, personally, I have to say that I've never lived anywhere uh, that is not where I currently live. Um, on one hand, I have not really gotten to see a lot of the country, but on the other hand, uh, you know, stability and familiarity. Um, sometimes that is a nice thing to have. Mm. Modified. Oh, oh man, that's terrible. You know, this is this is another um, complaint that I have with the modified monster system. But this time it presents itself in a new way, since the uh, since the white cats and the black cats are effectively the same tile, just recolored. When they're modified, they look the same, but they're different enemies. They're very different. Um yeah and you wanna you wanna handle them in different ways. I do have to say that the white cat is way less dangerous than the black cat looking at it. Um since it only has a melee attack and the black cat has the retaliatory damage at a range. So the knights are a uh, holy spell, so I could get golden tome. Yeah, unfortunately they don't get number of summons. I really wish they did get number of summons. Um, it could be as easy as every summon spell could have number of summons as a stat, and just make number of summons uh, items and things a lot rarer to to compensate, so that it's uh, something truly special when you get something that that gives you extra number of summons. Um, yeah, there's a lot of small changes that I would make to Rift Wizard 2 if I, if I was in control. Um, at the very least, those changes would definitely result in a game that I would enjoy more uh, personally, but uh, that's just me. Um, maybe it is a good thing that I am not in control. Mm. Whatever is the best for Dylan is what, what needs to happen, I guess. Mm. See how this goes. Take a little bit of damage. I haven't played in a little bit. Uh, I hope it doesn't um, doesn't show. There we go. 
Took a little bit of damage there, but we were never, um... Like, control never left our hands, I suppose. Mm, the charge for the knights. For 3 million damage. I'll get the 3 million damage. And I think that will increase the fireball damage and uh, the other damage as well. Draken Tooth, what does that do? 9 million damage and 1 million range. Okay, that's a pretty good item uh, for, uh, for dragons. Dragons are, are a good thing. Mm, I don't want to go to that level. I think I like these Vampiric Vestiments. Um, just to sustain in case I uh, run into some problems with the knights. Which, hopefully, it shouldn't happen. Mm, now, my next upgrade, I am thinking that maybe it should be Servants of Chaos. Um, what else could we get? We could get Shock Value. Um, we could definitely get Prince of Ruin. In fact, Prince of Ruin... Yeah, Prince of Ruin. There's this one guy that always annoys me on YouTube. Um, talking about Prince of Ruin. Like, how it's optimal to always get first, uh, Prince of Ruin, like, the first thing. On one hand, that is okay, but like on the other hand, it is like literally the same thing every time. Like it can get pretty boring, and I am—I um, understand how that could be considered a weakness of this game. How like it can get samey over time once you know how to play the game. Um, but on the other hand, there's like a lot of a lot of ways to build the. Um, the character, um, so you can try a bunch of different stuff that can end in a power level high enough to win the game. So, like, if you can do that, then it is kind of hard for it to get samey. That is one of the nicest things about this game. Um, maybe I shouldn't have gone to the level with the Chaos Quills. Vampiric Vestiments. Yeah, it's it's knights, what can I say? They are pretty powerful. Um How much damage did Prince of Ruin do? 257. Not bad. Not bad. Mm, let's see what else we can get. We could get the Holy Thunder redeal. Um, since the Knights deal lightning damage, they deal chaos damage, so physical lightning on fire. Um, Maybe worth, maybe could be worth considering. Um, they would definitely kill things faster later on. Do I still have knights on the screen? No knights. I wanted to see if their damage did go up with, with Golden Fang. Um, yeah, I think the next thing that I get is Serpents of Chaos. We can get it next level. We might even get it in the course of the level. Um, oh. That uh, I was not against doing this level because I have flame burst until I saw the moon mage, and then the moon mage made me be like, nah, we're not doing that. Metallic trains are also pretty bad, but uh, the knights beat them. Um, let let us go over here. Ooh, finger six, but finger six is not as exciting on on an, on the knights build because unfortunately, number of summons is not a universal summon stat. Um, it really should be. It really, really should be. Oh, a new rare enemy in my first run since it was added. Um, Slasefan the Philosopher summons the snakes and then turns them into dragons. And then it heals an ally for 50. 
I wonder if it can heal itself as well. Probably not. Goodbye, Slasophan the Philosopher. Round 10 is probably a bit too late for that monster to generate. Got frozen for a bit. It's fine. Hmm. Maybe going to this level wasn't the brightest of ideas, uh, but I did want to see the... Um, the Slasophan, the Philosopher Monster, for the Bestiary. Now I have it. Okay, so I think that uh, the Golden Fang does increase the damage that they do with the Fireball and, uh, and the melee attack. Let's see how this guy looks. 19 and 13, not bad. There we go. Knights doing night things. It's gonna get even crazier starting now because we have been able to afford Serpents of Chaos. We were just able to afford that. Ghostly Troubler. Mm, what about now? This level also looks nasty. Um, I, uh, technically, uh, ideally this wouldn't happen, but the Star Swimmers could blink the knights away um, from them enough for them to, to just kill all of the knights. That can happen. Um, hmm. Poison Redeal statue. Very annoying. Um... What else do we have when it comes to skills? Because I saw the Toads and I was like, do I have the Toad skill? But it doesn't seem to be here. Um, I think that no, my next big buy might be a shock value. So that the Knights uh, stun things. Or like Berserk, other enemies, uh, to be more precise. They don't stun. The one that stuns is Chastisement. We didn't get that. So we could enable it with the Knights. Um, we can get uh, Bright Flame, and we probably should get Bright Flame, but I'm gonna wait a bit on that. We don't have any uh, skills that enhance fire damage, so we are going to see the fire stuff start to decay kinda hard, and we will have to be carried by the knights. A gremlin. I have uh, not seen gremlins before. What do they do? What is the electric gremlin? Wasn't there an electric gremlin here? No, that's the wrong one. This is where the electric gremlin is. Okay, this says... Uh, fear Bolt applies fear for one turn. I take it fear means... Cannot walk towards the enemy? Yeah, now you know, I'm, I'm re-rolling that. Ooh... Ooh, this is uh, interesting. I think that I go here, a flame burst, and then I summon some knights. And then this is gonna be a problem. Okay, so I have three teleporters. Go here, flame burst. Teleport over here, flame burst. And then we are mostly out of um, out of problems. Like we're fine. Yeah, and a single flame burst is enough to kill to kill things. The bad breath. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And then you already followed before. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of people don't follow if they don't see the person that they follow doing the same thing the next day. I used to be able to do the same thing five days a week. Uh, Star Polemic here, if he's still around in the chat, can confirm that. There was a time where I could play Crawl five days a week, four hours a day. Um, I say it, I say that it really feels like um, 
like it was a lifetime ago. <laughs> I cannot imagine doing that uh, nowadays. Though I am going to do some of that um, because we will uh, we will play crawl in August. And that was sponsored by uh, Dan Brani. Yeah, Dan Brani uh, got you all that. I hope you appreciate Dambrani, because Dambrani alone uh, covered $100. And not only will it give you some crawl for August, but also it will give me a nice birthday. Um, I'll get some cake, and I'll get whatever food I want to eat. It will be nice. Uh, maybe I'll get something else if, if I can. Yeah, I, I can definitely get something else, but like I haven't thought. Uh, of what to treat myself to, other than a nice... Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm gonna get, Star Polemic. You read my mind. I'm gonna get orange chicken and chow mein, and it's gonna be amazing. And I am gonna be so happy. Um, my birthday is in July 29th, so... Um, yeah, in Monday. Monday... Um, in a week and a half, I suppose. And I'll be turning 29, and I'll be updating that uh, Twitch bio that I haven't updated in three years. The time has come to finally update that. Mm. Holy minions cast Void Beam on a random enemy, but I take it that, like, despite the spell being holy, the Chaos Knights are not holy. So that doesn't work. Um, maybe I get the Helm of the Host. Frost Spew Ogre. Okay, let's see my other options. It seems on the easy side of things. Yeah, apart from the Blood Mage being kinda scary, it seems on the easy side of things. Big Green Slime. Okay, Modified Slimes are, are very annoying. Silent Spectre. Each turn deals zero dark damage to enemy units in a 5 tile radius. Okay. Why does it have that then? Uh, maybe it silences with that damage. Burning Gnome, which is gonna summon Burning Fate Thorns, which is Bile. Yeah, to put it lightly, that is Bile. Let's re roll. And I didn't like any of that. Slash of the Philosopher again. Yeah, it, this should spawn from realms 5 to 10, because it's not that powerful. Uh, the 50 heal is, is strong. But um, but that's about it. And like, what monster has 50 max HP? Um, like even even here you can see like the Dark Tormentors have 34. Um, if there was a modified enemy, that would have that HP. But like, fortunately, there's no modified enemies when this generates. Yeah, let me let me confirm. Oh, look at that! Yeah, once again. A werewolf that looks like a perfectly fine werewolf at first glance, but then you hover over it and you find out that it's a metallic werewolf with a lot more HP and a lot more resistances. Um, man, I really, really don't like the modified system. I hope that doesn't make it, but I suspect that it's here to stay. Um, I like many things about Rufus or 2, but I don't like that. And that is just such a prevalent thing that um, it kind of spoils the experience for me. Metallic Bone Shambler with 143 HP. Frost the Spew Fire Drake or Ghostly Storm Swimmer. Um, we are gonna get the thing that is immune to Flame Burst.
next uh, experience that I get will allow me to get shock value. Yeah, shock value works on these guys because they do far lightning or physical damage with the fireball or with the kills ball. We don't know what they get, but sometimes they are gonna get lightning and sometimes that is going to kill things. And sometimes that will trigger um, shock value. And it sounds um, like a lot of sometimes, but considering how many attacks they make, how often they hit, that is uh, likely to happen. Um, so, Star Polemic, have you kept on playing Crawl? Um, I remember that you were pretty frustrated with Crawl even before I was. Um, I wonder if you quit or if you continued playing even after I quit. Um, have you kept up with the changes? Because I, um, as part of my um, brief return to Crawl for August, I'm going to be playing only things that have been changed or are new. No cheesing things with like whatever ogre I can think of. Uh, or oni, I suppose. I guess they're oni now. You play the current trunk a few times, but you simply haven't had the time. Uh, sometimes that happens. Yep, that's a pretty rough thing about um, the reality that we live in. Sometimes we just don't have the time. Um, This should not be that difficult of a level. We have, um... Yeah, since we have shock value now, this should be easy. Okay. Now I chill. And wait for the things to die. Beautiful. So many snakes. So many snakes. Serpents of Chaos is super busted. Um, maybe I've been subconsciously banning it because of how powerful it is, but like on a challenge run, on Archmage Trial, all, um, all rules are off. You do what you have to do to win with what you are provided. Um, they do have to say that the new, um, the, the, the Archmage Trials, some of them are really cool and some of them are pretty uninspired and frankly feel like placeholders. Like the ones where it's only, when it locks you into a specific kind of school, like only fire, only lightning, like those should probably just go. Those are not exciting enough. Um, unless they had another interesting modifier on top of that, then they would be interesting. But as they are right now, I, I have no interest in them. I'm probably not going to do them. I'm going to do the unique ones, the ones that actually are interesting, but um, maybe I do the far one. That one, that, but like, what is what even is the point of doing the far one? Like, it's just a normal run. I have seven again. Uh, I guess we can get Arch Computer. Ah, uh, sure, Arch Computer. Like, I mean, whatever buffs my dudes. Jeez, they're so powerful. I don't think I've had a single one of them die because I've been looking at my HP every tur every level, every turn of every level, and like it's just not going down the way that it would if one of my knights had died, which is deals forty. Does it still do that? Yeah, it still does. It still does that. Um, you were sub, but you hadn't followed, lol. How's it going so far? Thank you for the subscription, by the way, uh, when you did it. Uh, how's it going so far? It's going well. Yeah, it's going well. We are uh, playing some, um, some improviser with knights. And uh, knights out of the box with a little bit of help. They're pretty strong. They're pretty okay. I don't want to, like, yeah, that level would kill me. Modify the Fritz. 
on a gate. Um, but where is the modify the freed gate? Oh, here it is. I think that modified gates should have like a very distinct color that is not shared by any other gate in the game. And like just use that same color for every modified gate. Um, because only one of them spawns whenever they do spawn. Like make it immediately obvious. Like let me look at the level and just like I can immediately see the mask wizard here or the modified minotaurs, like I should be able to, to tell, oh, this is a modified gate because look at this compared to this. Like they're, they're very similar. They're not the same. They're similar enough that you cannot tell at first glance that this thing is different from this. It's only when you look at in more detail that you realize, oh yeah, this is the modified gate. Uh, but like, there's a bunch of white or gray uh, gates and this one. So I thought this one was a special one uh, at first glance. Anyway, I'm not doing that. And since I'm not doing any of those, we're re-rolling. We're getting some levels that are... Um, Kind of rough, come on. This might be fine. Immortal Elves. This might still be fine. All allies in line of sight. So if I want to get healing light so to make sure that my knights don't die, I have to um, go to open levels. It'd be nice if the list of enemies stayed on the right side and you could hover over them to see where they are in the level. That is a suggestion that I made um, early on in Rift Wizard 2's development. Um, yeah, it would be nice. Like, it do, The game should tell you the number of enemies there are. And when you hover over the name, it should highlight them. That's how it should work. Um, would be real, real nice. Bunch of Lamasus. Man, these levels are not good. This might be the best level. Um, and it is still not good. It's gonna be very annoying. The gates are very separated. These two are close, these two are close, these two are not so close. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one is a modified uh, gate with Butterfly Demon, so I have to start over here. I was thinking of starting over here, but I have to start here, otherwise the level will be full of those. Mm, that is great. Immortal elves, you would hope so. Immortal, immortal elves, unfortunately. The kind that takes three kills to properly die. Um, at least they're not lightning artists. Those guys are terrible. Yeah, sure, I mean... What else is there for me to do than, than this? Um, shielded minions. I didn't see that I had shielded minions. And I seen I would have gotten that earlier, maybe, and I would have also gotten the Sonic shielding skill. It says whenever an ally loses a shield, it does damage. I apply silence to two turns, to stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't feel like I am the safest with the knights just running around with no way to heal. But on the other hand, th well, this guy's never gonna die, um, unless it constantly gets poked by a reaper or Mordred or something. But these guys do, look at look at them, they, they definitely are capable of losing like 100 HP, um, which is a bit scary. When did my fireball get radius? The, ah, the sorcerer's disc. I got it for uh, for flame burst, but it, it had the unfortunate side effect of also buffing my fireball. 
in a way that makes it harder to aim. Alright, that could have been a lot worse. Um, I didn't like the level on first glance, but we were able to beat it just fine. Uh, Sonic Shielding. There we go. Sonic Shielding. It's easier to just look at the enemy list to see the modified enemies. Bark Lord Lich Spawner. We... Oh yeah, we can go here. Um, but we have to start in a position where we just immediately kill that. And then we're fine. So the, the snakes are obviously living, um, Vampiric Vestiments heals me whenever a living unit dies, and I think that them timing out heals me, so I think I have infinite healing. That is really, really powerful. Alright, um, Prince of Ruin, Sonic Shielding did, did a surprisingly high amount of damage. I suppose that all the snakes get summoned with a shield and by extension. Lots of summons, lots of uh, shields that pop and then deal a lot of damage. And that's pretty good. Ooh, this would kill me. I'm almost certain that casting this would kill me because it would kill the knights and the knights would just deal damage. Timing out counts as dying, that is insane. I think that's how it works. I think that's how it works. At the very least, um, there is this spell... Well, I, I don't have it, I'm playing uh, Improviser, but that there is this spell that revives things whenever they were to die, and if you cast it on something that times out, it revives the thing. So, at least that works. And if that works, maybe the other things work as well. It's things like that that make me really think that this game needs like a training mode. So you can try all these wacky things without having to try them in a game. Um, this game is deep enough to make good use of something like that. Um, I have natural healing. I could get natural healing on Gotias, and that way my knights could heal 5 HP every turn. Yeah, sure. I am probably going to do that. I don't have the... No, I, I can do it. I, I can do it right now. Um, and then we just drop into some experience and we get the Gotias. So in case you don't know, this spell has no charges, it's infinite, you just have to pay 5 HP every time you cast it, but the skill gives you 5 HP whenever you cast it, so it's effectively free. Um, with the nice upside of healing every night, uh, 5 every time I cast that. So um, yeah, I have no idea why it works like that. Just as I have no idea why there is a Goblin Wizard in Realm 16, but I'm going to take it. Um, this level does look pretty nasty. It has a lot of um, dangerous enemies. Glass Cockatrice, Frosty Tormentor, uh, the Butterfly Demons. Uh, modified Gates? Modified Gates? Doesn't seem to be the case. The Floating Schools also uh, will apport a lot of damage. Um, my plan here is dropping and immediately Chaos Belling, and if that is not enough, we can stop watch as well. But I feel like um, this level could be really nasty in any other way. Um, yeah, just get whatever. Oh, Soul Tax! I want Soul Tax. I want Soul Tax for obvious reasons. It's great in Round 20, as great versus Mordred. Um, and it is in my in my spell list, right? 
yeah, it is in my spell list. Because you don't get spells that you don't have in limited spell or like in limited spell book improviser from these scrolls. It is a shame. Like you really, really should be able to get those. Would be a lot funnier. Um <clears throat> I want soul tax and I want soul tax for free, but I don't want. Um, I don't want to go to this level. Wailing Banshee. I don't even know what a Wailing Banshee is, but I certainly know that I don't want to have anything to do with a um, uh, modified Wailing Banshee. Um, so I guess we're going here. Yeah, like, let's hope that this doesn't end poorly for me. You know what? I was I was going to go for Chaos Bell, but I think we go for uh, Stopwatch instead. And yeah, that is the play. Okay, took some damage there. No idea what dealt the damage to me. Why why did I receive? Yeah, Fire Snake seventy seven. Are they shooting through me? Oh, it, it's a it's a radius thing. Well, I think that I'm safe because there's not a lot of. Um, not a lot of enemies next to me, so now I shouldn't be getting targeted by the snakes. Yeah, anyway, if my theory is correct and they all time out, I, I should be healing to full HP any second now. Yep, I did heal to full HP, did you see that? Uh, allies lost Fire Snake 50, and I went from 80 to 150, so timing out counts as dying. Now you know, now I know. Okay, that's that time I won casting two flame bursts and a fireball, um, with the help of the stopwatch, of course. Mm. Ah, is it time to get the holy flame burst? Yeah, sure. Holy flame burst is pretty okay. This mode is fun. You have such limited resources. Um, that you have to improvise quite a bit. Oh, you know what? I could have gotten Storm Burst as well. Um, did I get the the other one? Because maybe I could have gone for a Burst Run. But not really, since I... Like, I had a uh, Disintegrator, but I didn't have Arch Sorcerer. Yeah, I guess it's okay that I didn't go that way. Um, duration stat links to turns to death in the code, which counts down and kills them pretty neat. Yeah. I have Gold Drake, I should maybe get that. Troll Blooded Glass Cockatrices and non Troll Blooded Glass Cockatrices. They have the same resistances. Okay, since this Fountain of Venom spooks me, I'm gonna start close to it, and I'm gonna just immediately try to kill it. And we do kill it immediately. Pretty neat. Oh, uh, I forgot, but I need to get uh, the Gothia so I can heal my dudes. Infernal Lightning Master. Pretty good. So far, I have not had a single one of those knights die. The lowest my HP has gone, which was that time that I got hit by all the snakes, was because I got hit by all the snakes, and that was in a level where I didn't even summon a single knight. Um, go to yes. There we go. Now I can spam Gothias endlessly. And the Gothias will heal my dudes. Um, for some reason it has two charges. That's a lie, by the way. It has infinite charges. Mm, lots of liches. I have Prince of Ruins, so maybe getting to liches is not going to be that much of a problem, but let's see my other options.
Ooh, modified annihilation goose. Yeah, those are one of the greatest examples. Like, I'm probably doing that, but let, let me go back to this a little bit. This is one of the greatest examples of why I don't like the modifier system the way that it is right now. Uh, look at that. It has a million resistances, a million HP. Um, it does okay damage in bulk, because you have to keep in mind that even if a monster doesn't deal that much damage on its own, it's also accompanied by a million other monsters that are often the same, so the damage does stack up pretty quickly, especially when all of those guys are super tanky, um, which is the case for these Frost to Spew Annihilation Goose. Yeah, like... Um... This has to be one of my least favorite enemies uh, that has been added to the game in Reef Wizard 2. Just because they are so tanky. Like, the normal ones are okay. They're they're fine. Uh, especially since they're late game enemies. But the modified ones, no matter what modifier it is, they're not okay because of the HP that they have. Uh, the um, resistances that they have out of the box already make it into a ridiculous monster with the HP boost that they get from being modified. Um... So yeah, this is a level to go to. Um, I have uh, turned this into a holy uh, flame burst, so the bulking the turtles are just gonna cease to exist immediately. Unfortunately, that will make it so that I don't get snakes, mm. and I might get petrified by this thing immediately, which is really bad. Um, maybe I preemptively strike myself and I just go for a stopwatch. Yeah, that seems like a plan. Drop, stopwatch, pop, do it again. Uh, summon some knights, do it again. Back to full HP, and like I think we are done here. I'm gonna try to kill that infernal golden school spawner, but I don't think that I have to do anything. Like it's surrounded by enemies. It's probably gonna die next turn. Yeah, there we go, we're fine. Ah, look at that poor Chaos Champion. Yeah, it is It is in the tension. Is the tension a real thing that happens in US schools? Is anyone here from the US or, or so? Like, is that real, the tension? Because, like, it is a very... Uh, oh no, this thing is... Oh, this, this is gonna be terrible. Um, it, that is like a common trope in... in in shows for kids, right? And I did used to watch a lot of television when I was younger. Now I don't watch any television. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube instead. Um, and there was like the tension, and I always thought, hmm, is that like a normal thing that happens? It didn't happen in Mexico, I can tell you that. You get kept an hour after school and have to sit there. It's pretty common in the US. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. And, and what causes you to get the tension? That's wild. Like, that kind of thing wouldn't work in Mexico, because it's usually parents that go pick up their kids at school. So, like, getting the kid to, to sit there for an extra hour, like, that messes up the parent as well. Um, so, like, that... I have never heard of anything like that in, in Mexico. Uh, I do, however, have to say that there is, like, this uh, system in certain schools usually private schools, where the parent can pay more for the kid to stay after hours. Um, <clears throat> for some reason. Uh, yeah, for, for one reason or another. I uh, didn't really have to make use of that um, of that um, service when I was younger, fortunately. Not doing what the teachers say mostly. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, uh, teachers do tend to have issues with students not um, doing what they say. I didn't really have that problem when I was in school. Um, though I do not remember those days fondly for other reasons. I, I tended to constantly forget about doing homework. That happened to me a lot. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I just, I was out of school and I completely forgot everything school-related. And then, next day came and I had to 
deliver some homework or something. I was like, wait a second, we had homework? I have to do something in my free time related to school? No way. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me so much. Um, that was the source of uh, most of my scholar grievances. When it came to learning and stuff, nah, I never really had any problems with that. Fortunately. I'm dying. Uh, did a knight die, or how did I take so much damage? Ah, man. This... you see the sidebar. The sidebar should change with the turn. The sidebar should, should, should change with the turn, because the sidebar is a digestible way to you know, process all of this information. Which this information is important, but the sidebar does a better job of showing you this information. And it's not even like it has to regenerate the uh, thing or something, no, like, it generates it every turn, just like, save it and let me see it whenever I do this, right? Did I get... What is up with all of this time? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm holding up right now. Yeah. That's why it was empty. Aha, man, that is so silly. Why Why is that like that, Dylan? That's kind of early too. Um, kind of early on. I lost 40. Yeah, how, how would a knight die in this situation? Wizard is frozen? Oh, it happened! That's what's killing me. Like, um... Yeah, finally I got frozen by the Hellhound, uh, or maybe by the Far Drake. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I got poisoned for four turns. How actually did that happen? That is the greatest question here. How did that happen? How did I get poisoned? Who poisons here? I have actually zero idea. Who poisons? This guy is still stunned. No idea how how any of that happened. I might die here, but if I die, it's fine. I have I have so much experience, and I don't really have a lot of things to get. Yeah, there's not, not a lot that I can buy to upgrade my character. Um, that's just the nature of these modes. It's kind of miraculous that I got this far with like a plan. Um, are my dudes poisoned? Okay, so no, it's only me. We can heal them. Alright, I got dispersed. Uh, I wish I had mobility. The shields block the night damage, uh, siphon shields could help. Yes, uh, shields block the night damage. Um, siphon shields doesn't really do that much at the moment. Uh, most of the things here have no shield. The uh, slime soul idols do, that's it. Um, I would really like to not be poisoned. Um, it would be real nice if I, if I'm not poisoned, so I can heal. It would be my first heal of, of oh wow! I went through 20 levels of Reef Wizard 2 without seeing a single healing potion. 
I hadn't even looked at this. I was like, I have not healed at all in the game, so like surely I have a good amount of healing potions. No, it turns out that I have one, soon to be zero. Um, that is not good. Oh, nice, I got the heals from the Vampiric Vestiments. Oof, what a save. Man, what a save was it that the snakes decided us to all drop dead right then and there. Um, okay, now I f I'm feeling a bit immortal because of that. Probably not a safe feeling to have. Frost Spew Insanity Fiend. Where did you come from? Like, was it summoned by Jormungandr? Also, there's like an epic fight between my snakes and Jormungandr snakes, and my snakes are producing more snakes, and and so on. It is it is pretty funny. Chaos Night Lich. That is certainly not one of mine. Where's your jar? Is your jar gone? Looks to me like it is the case. Not bad. So they uh, do get the weakness to holy, but like I'm not gonna kill it with flame burst. That deals 50 uh, fire damage. Yeah, that is not enough. Like I would have to cast it actually five times. That is ridiculous. I am where am I now okay whenever I cannot see where I am I just have to press a button and like it will very quickly highlight me unfortunately you cannot do this um oh no bone shambler megaliths that could be a problem I too shot them with flame burst uh, or so it seems or more like I come close to two shotting them with flame burst How is this guy poisoned? Like, really, what is poisoning uh, everyone? Huh. Oh, red cyclops next to me. That could be annoying. Yeah, uh, that is not great. Red cyclops next to me means... Um means that I will be targeted by the Chaos Knights and the uh, snakes and stuff, so I'm gonna take some damage here. Not to mention that the Cyclops can bat me away. Uh, I actually don't know what's gonna happen first. I think that the order of actions is randomized. Um, so, like, the, the Cyclops can bat me away first, and that would be nice, because it would mean that I won't take all the damage from all the snakes and the Chaos Champion, or my dudes will attack first, and then I will explode a little bit. I'll take uh, some damage. I don't think I, I die, but I do take good damage from, from that. Can I buff these? They didn't attack me, it attacked one of my dudes. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking that maybe we can. Allies in line of sight gain one shield. Allies in line of sight looks all, looks all debuffs. When a healing ally, heal light heals an ally. Nearest enemy line of sight of that ally takes that much fire and holy damage. That seems okay. That seems okay. I do like this, considering that I got the Sonic Shielding skill. Um, I wish it dealt more damage. This Sonic Shielding skill deals like no damage. Um, I think that this is underpowered. Like, I don't know. Some some things are just too powerful. Some things are not powerful enough. I, I guess that balance is just like that. Cannot be perfect. Oh, 
And well, since I don't have mobility, my teleporters are very limited. There's not really a lot that I can do. Uh, fortunately, I have the Vampiric Vestments, because otherwise we would also be having the HP problem. I think I uh, had a knight die there, but it's fine. Sonic shielding has been at the top of the damage list pretty consistently. Yeah, it's because I if I summon 20 million minions, then the 20 million minions will pop their shields and deal a little bit of damage. But since uh, it's a million dudes dealing a little bit of damage, it's a lot of damage at the end of the day. Um, it only really works on a build like this that like actually spams dudes. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be that fantastic. Like, if I, if I only had the Knights instead of the Knights and Serpents of Chaos, it wouldn't be great. Oh, we're close to uh, German Gander now. Gotta be careful not to be next to a snake that is not friendly. Which, yeah, that's one of the greatest downsides of Serpents of Chaos. The, like, these are, these are friendly. This one is not. So, if that was to hit me, I would be poisoned and bad things would happen. Summon some ice drakes to to gank me. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna get frozen here. Guaranteed to be frozen. <clears throat> My fireball doesn't deal enough damage to kill them. Yeah, because that's not what we're doing. Trapnel blast with the upgrade. Like we, I'm talking about having so much spare experience, I should have maybe gotten magnetized shards <clears throat> because that turns shrapnel blast into a, a legit killing machine. It's like so strong. Uh, Twilight Knight. I don't want to lose max HP. In fact, I want to gain max HP. This is uh, kind of an annoying situation. Uh, we're about to kill German Gander, so things are fine. Um, well below Prince of Ruin. Oh, like if it's not at the very top, like the first item, then it's not that great. Um, yeah, if it's be if it's below Prince of Ruin, like Prince of Ruin is just too powerful. That's just how it is. That thing is crazy, and the it, the craziest thing is that not only did it get uh, it it got more than one buff. It got two buffs in Refuser two compared to one. In one, it used to be just a Chaos skill. In this game, it's a Fire Lightning Chaos skill, so it it gets enhanced by Fire and Lightning um, skills, and it's also level four. In in one, it was level five. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna ski that all away so I don't explode. And I'm gonna just continue spamming Gotias because at this point, what else is there for me to do? Okay, this is getting pretty annoying. Like, it's summoning some pretty nasty things um, that are silenced for some reason because of the Sonic Shield or whatever. Sonic Boom. Um. Hmm. You're about to die. I don't think I have to worry about this guy doing anything nasty again. Um, maybe invoke chaos. That that might happen one more time. But yeah, this is looking really good. Apart from this, this this could be nasty. Uh, I don't have any allies nearby. Um, and these hurt. That is my main concern here. That I don't have any allies nearby, and those hurt. I can go for two fireballs and uh, that will kill these drakes. Yeah, now the schools. Um, I don't know what's happening with the schools. Like, are, are they targeting something else? Because they're certainly not targeting me. I'm at full HP. Um, Okay, your Mungander dies next turn. Unfortunately, like I was thinking, Death dies, but Death dies doesn't work versus these. 
doesn't work versus these, would have worked versus these earlier when, you know, before it was at 80 HP, at this point I might as well just wait. Okay, goodbye, German Gander. No idea what died here. Electric two-headed snake. Oh, blood mage, that's what produced that sound. And we're done. Took me 84 turns. I cast Gotia Offering 48 times. Uh, pretty good. I wish I got a list of... Oh, oh look at that. It is, it is second. It's not that bad. Look at that. It dealt more damage than the Chaos Knights. That's... A bit surprising. And yeah, and I attribute that to Serpents of Chaos. If it was not the synergy between Serpents of Chaos, Sonic Shielding, and Shielded Minions, that wouldn't really do as much damage as it's doing. Um, in my opinion, this should be should have been fixed like day one, like probably the first thing that should have been fixed. I haven't been in the Reef Wizard Discord in a couple of weeks, but um, last time I was there, like not a day could go without someone being super confused and being like, oh, I'm uh, I'm done with Realm 20, but I think I'm soft-locked because there's no portal and the game didn't end. I don't know what's up with that. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I can progress. In the worst case scenario, I had to restart. Um, but like, what should happen, and this shouldn't even be that hard to code, um, at the end of the level, generate the gate. As simple as that. Uh, at the end of the level, generate the gate. Instead of having it generate when you enter the level, well, not when you enter the level, but like when the level is generated, at the end of the level, just generate the gate in a in a viable tile. And that way you don't have to spend your reroll generating the gate. Um, and I say that it should have been the very first thing to fix, because that way you wouldn't have a bunch of people telling you that, um, like, at uh, first couple of days, it's understandable, like, no one knew. Um, no one knew what was supposed to, to to happen there, but, like, now we know, um, and now we know what to do about it, but people are still gonna report it because they are just not as connected to, um, to the community and to the bug reporting side of, of, of things. Mm. Some people will just buy the game and, and then have that happen to them. And then they wonder what's up with this game. Um, worst case scenario, it could result in negative reviews. I, I certainly hope that hasn't happened. But it could certainly happen. Um, might be a bit of a complicated fight. Okay, Mordred lost all of his shields um, and took a little bit of damage. I also killed all the things that were surrounding me. Flame Burst is kinda nuts. Like, uh, this Flame Burst is barely upgraded. The only thing that I have that makes it deal more damage is this Sorcerer's Orb. And it still two shot a bunch of fiends that were surrounding me. It is a really strong thing. Oh, it's silent, so it cannot cast spells. Man, that that is so nice. The unfortunate downside, I guess, is that it gives it clarity. idea. Not idea, but like more actually upgrading this with shielding light since uh, it's it's very synergistic with what we're doing. Um, okay, Mordred swapped me. Uh, still four lives. 
Knights are not the greatest spell for, for dealing with Mordred, I have to say. Because of that kind of thing. Um, some knights died and I took a good chunk of damage there. Um, the greatest downside of making Flame Burst have Bright Flame is that I lost my capability to produce a ridiculous amount of, um, of snakes really quickly. I'm getting attacked by my dudes. Uh, this time I don't have snakes to dive so I can heal. So things are getting a bit scary. I'm still healing from uh, living things dying, but um, we don't have that many living things here. Shrapnel Blast doesn't have enough range, unfortunately. There we go. That uh, completely destroyed Mordred. Um, I like damage taken Wizard 45, sorry for that, enemies slain Mordred. Damage dealt, um, Shrapnel Blast 34, actually, dealt very little damage. Well, that's fine. With this time we don't have... Um, we don't have... Oh no, we do have this first. Okay, let's see if I can make my way to some experience. Um, so I can grab... Uh, so I can grab this purse and this purse my knights. This purse stings away, uh, away too. Yeah, holy damage is a little bit cracked. Um, it is a bit busted. Oh no, Reapers. Pretty scary. Do these... Do the shields stack? Oh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about the maximum, so I can just spam the shields on the knights. Okay, Mordred is here, and I'm down here. Fake Queens. You know, Fake Queens are nice. There will be a, a constant generator of living things, um, because they summon evil fadies, and evil fadies are living. And so that will help me heal. Yeah, just like that. I healed for 14 instantly. Horrified Lamasu. Ghostly Lamasu. Where did that come from? Who summoned that? Ghostly Moon Mage. Of course, that's uh, who summoned that. Hmm. Things keep getting poisoned, and I have no idea how... Like, how did Mordred here get bitten by a snake? That's, I guess, the way uh, Mordred could have gotten poisoned. Okay, I got to this purse. Now let me disperse these things away. Metallic Ice Drake. Looks almost exactly like a normal Ice Drake. It's fine. Uh, having this guy next to me is not so fine. Cool. I got uh, completely walled in. I guess that is not the worst thing ever. I can just disperse uh, things away. Uh, I'm out now. I'm here. Okay. Order that is pretty close. We can disperse one more time. This would be a good time to have some knights. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have that. But I do have these. Yeah, that's a big uh, amount of snakes that I just generated. Uh, it turns out that grabbing Shrapnel Blast actually did a lot for me. Um, it allowed me to... To have a way to generate snakes, it's just not fire snakes anymore, it is normal snakes, which are still pretty good for the purpose of healing me. So how's Mordred doing? 
Two lives down, uh, two more to go. Well, three more to go. There we go. Shrapnel Blast is serving as a pretty great way to heal. This Vampiric Vestiments, when I grabbed it, I was like... Yeah, sure, like, I mean, if a, if a knight dies, I will be able to heal without using uh, consumables. But the extent um, to which it has affected the run in a positive way is... is it's kind of crazy, yeah. To the point where, like, it's looking like if I didn't have that, I would probably be dead right now. Um, that's how much it has affected the run. This is just a battle of attrition, where my um, dwindling number of knights is kind of failing to take over the, the game. Maybe it is time for me to use my first mana potion of the run, like, it's crazy. This run is like, it's not even that, uh, like, I do have a very strong synergy between this and, uh, and Serpents of Chaos, but to the point where it's like, I have not used the potion. I have not used a potion. That's wild. Well, anyway, that's potion number one. We're gonna be summoning some stuff now. And I'll, I'll keep uh, some knights in reserve so that next time Mordred teleports me, I can just summon some knights to protect me immediately. Just like that. Ah, this guy's pretty hurt. That's kind of surprising. The silence of status effect thing is kind of busted. Um, yeah, Mordred has been has been silenced quite a bit thanks to the shields from um, from Sonic shielding. Yeah, I I kind of was um, like I still um, I'm not convinced. Like it's not incredible. That probably has something to do with the fact that I don't have Void Lord. Like, maybe if I had Void Lord it would be better, because me the Metallic Lord skill does not increase damage. Uh, in fact, increasing damage of Metallic things is really, really hard. I wonder if that is, like, an intentional thing by Dylan. Um, like, maybe, like, a balancing factor. Um... Oh yeah, that's the last life for Mordred. So Mordred is about to die. Went to the corner.
Oh, Mordor is poking my dudes. Uh, I should probably... Oh, what happened there? Was I not seeing... Yeah, I was not seeing that dude. Okay, it's fine. Just have to wait a bit. Um... Kinda rough that Mordred is... Um... Well, Mordred will swap me to a pretty safe spot, so I guess we're fine. Mm. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. We teleport here. Mordred teleports me there, so now I have stopwatch. Um, you wonder how much damage I've taken this fight? We're gonna see at the end. I think that I have taken a, a surprisingly high amount of damage, considering that we haven't healed at all. And, which goes to show like how strong Vampiric Decimants plus Serpents of Chaos is. Like, it's bonkers. I heal so much. There we go. You cast one Shrapnel Blast and I'm back to full HP. Takes a little bit, but I, it does bring me to full HP. Flame burst for the win. Beautiful. Um, that was my first game of Rift Wizard in a while, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, in a couple of weeks. It hasn't been that long since I last played Rift Wizard uh, 2. Ooh, and it was a first try win of Improviser. Um, I don't know if I just got lucky with with the spell set that I got. Um. Or what, but I guess that part of the skill is not only getting good uh, things, but seeing how they can synergize uh, with them, with each other. Um, and also a, a big thing was that the run was not solved turn one, as in as in Rift Wizard one. If I was playing Rift Wizard one improviser and I saw my spell set and my skill set, I would know exactly what was going to happen, how it was going to unfold. In this one there was a big modifier um, in the form of the Vampiric Vestiments. This item carries the run. Without that item I would have died in round 20. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, anyway, give me the turn the turn total, or like the, 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 the realm total. Um, Wow, it dealt more than Prince of Ruin now. Like, in fact, Prince of Ruin wasn't even in the top 5. Man, this is crazy. This is really strong with, with Serpents of Chaos. Without Serpents of Chaos, it wouldn't be strong at all. Uh, damage to Wizard, 648 Chaos Knight, 260 Chaos Champion, 50 Phoenix, 35 Infernal Elf Lightning Artist, 34 Troll Blooded Elf Lightning Artist, 290 other. So I took more than a thousand damage. More than a thousand damage, and I didn't use my one healing potion. This is the potion that I started the game with. I, I started the game, and I finished the game, and I was like, eh, yeah, this this thing, yeah, who even needs that? Yeah, 1317 damage. And all of that was healed off with Vampiric Vestiments and Serpents of Chaos. Absolutely insane. The synergy between these two things, like... And it's it's broken, but it's broken in an in an in a funny way. Like not in a in a oh I just win the game now way like Crackle Darkener is. Um I really like that. I'm gonna start uh keeping this item a lot in mind. Um alongside Serpents of Chaos, which are two things that I don't really use that often, but this time they came together and, and handed me a free improviser win. Um Pretty nice, pretty nice. Anyway, 
that is improviser. Uh, I don't want to start a 